everyone, so today I will be doing something my friend that shares this channel with me did in her latest video. It's um, how to clean your room in five minutes. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, you should. Um, I'll put it in the description so you can, I'll put the link in the description so you can go check that video out. Make sure to like that video because she did a really good job and I think those tips would be really helpful. And I have a few tips as well, so I'm gonna not really steal her idea, but like add some more tips to it. So, right now my room isn't that dirty. I mean, it could use a little bit of touch ups, but I'll show you guys right now. I mean, it's not the cleanest, but it's not really that messy either. So, yeah. So the first tip I have, so if you're lazy like me and don't like to make your bed, as you can see my bed is not made because it's really messy and wrinkly and the pillows are all messed up and everything. The, the number one thing you can do is just lay like a blanket out on your whole bed. Like put, clean your sheet first and then put a, a big blanket over your bed. So it's like, so it covers your whole bed. And then, put, clean up your pillows. It's not that hard to clean up your pillows. Um, if you have a little bit like me, I only have a few. So I'm really easy to clean up that way. There, done. So, and then you just put your pillows on and then you just lay down on that blanket that you spread, it, spread out on your bed. And then you take another blanket, and then that's what you use to, you know, like, cover your body so you're not cold. And if you're someone that has a lot of pillows on their bed, like, like, things, I don't know, lots of pillows on their bed, then here's a trick. So, if you have a lot of pillows, which I don't, um, I'll just go get some. So I'll just take these two pillows as an example, this emoji pillow and this blue pillow. So if you have a lot of pillows just laying here like on your bed, what you can do is you can move them to the side of your bed, like near your window or something, like move it to the side and then you use the blanket tip that I just said and then you take all the pillows that you want to use them your sleeping time on the side and then you just use your two main pillows there are two main pillows here or wherever you sleep and then your blanket will be set out and then yeah and then in the morning you can just get up fix up your blanket blankets don't take a while to fix up because they're really like thick and they don't take a while and they, they don't get wrinkly a lot so and then you just kind of quickly fix up your Plug it, and then you just put your pillows back. Simple as that. If you just like lay on it, then your pillows will go everywhere. You have to like pick them up from all parts of the bed. You just sit, take them from the sides and put them back. So that's the first tip. Is if you leave things around, like if you have stray things on the table. The bags left, sandals everywhere, bags, just things everywhere. The first method is to basically organize everything. So, as you can see, I haven't organized it yet, but organizing can take it a long way. So, I would suggest you, like, take a piece of paper, write the stuff that you're going to put there, and just stick it in place of the room where you're going to put things. That makes it way easier to find places where you should put your things and not leave them around everywhere and leave it till later because it's better to do things sooner than later. Alright, so that was the second tip. I'll be doing four tips by the way. So then, if you have a messy closet like me, so here's my closet. 
it has a lot of new closet, so. So with your clothes, um, this is my school uniforms, um, you can like sort them out, like put um, shirts, sports shirts, sports clothes, and whatever. So you separate the sports clothes with your real school uniform clothes. And then you do like dresses and like sweaters in one section, then shirts and shirts and like pants and skirts in another section, and then all your sports clothes in another section. So if you have like stray bags, bags here and another bag, use that same thing. So up here I have all my blankets. You see? That just fell. Okay. So with your closet, I suggest you do the same thing. Um, same thing like the tip I showed you. For like organizing the room. Like put signs around and um, yeah. So it's easier to know where things go so you don't just like shove it in the closet so it's not messy. Alright, let's go to the for the last if you didn't see in this video, she did um like sorting out your clothes, putting them in the laundry straight away. I have a similar tip but kind of different too. So I have just figured this out. If you have any like old baskets or anything, like old containers, like big ones or buckets, just and if you have like two people, um, if you're sharing a room with someone, just have buckets for your dirty clothes, so so you can separate them easily instead of like throwing them around all over the place. So you have a bucket for your dirty clothes, and then I don't know your mom. Or you can just like take it, take that bucket over to the laundry and put it in. So you'll know which ones are your dirty clothes. It's instead of going through all your clothes, like smelling them and things like that, no one wants to do that. So, so I suggest you wear like the same thing for at least two days and then put it in that dirty, dirty laundry thing. And I suggest you put it in the laundry straight away or like a few minutes later after like resting with things. I suggest you put it straight away so you don't have to worry about doing that laundry later. So that was it for today. That was it for today's video. And yeah, I hope this helped a lot. And again, I will link Haley's video in the description below so you go check that out. And make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel because we will do daily uploads. Hopefully. And yeah. Love you guys.